As promised, here's part two on our series on the newest pain medication, Suzetrogene, and how to use it in your clinical practice. This is an oral non-opioid analgesic approved for moderate to severe pain, perfect for the post-operative setting where opioids and NSAIDs may have side effects that are not ideal. Here's how to dose it. Start with a 100 milligram loading dose and then 50 milligrams once every 12 hours. In clinical trials, ibuprofen was still allowed as a rescue. You'll need to watch out for CYP3A4 inhibitors. These can increase the levels of suzetrogene in the body. This can include some antibiotics and grapefruit juice. It's also important to note that suzetrogene can decrease the effectiveness of hormonal contraceptives. Patients should use non-hormonal alternatives while using this medication. Adverse effects were similar to placebo, including a rash, itch, elevated CPK levels, and spasms. Suzetrogene should be avoided if the GFR is less than 15 or there is severe hepatic impairment. Suzetrogene could seamlessly integrate into ARIS protocols as a non-addictive, peripherally acting analgesic. Save and share this with your operating room and pain teams. This could be a game changer.